Hello everybody, we are back with another Halloween video. It's Naomi Amber if you're new. What's poppin'? What's good? Um, don't forget to subscribe. And I know my lace looks crazy, so don't come for me in the comments. I will be putting a bonnet on later. I am going to be doing this Coraline gory makeup look. Um, I have some inspiration photos that I will insert on the screen. And I hope you guys enjoy because this was a really, really tough. This was really out of my skill set. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy this. But first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting the felt. I'm going to put everything that I use in the description down below. But first, I'm taking this piece of felt. I got this felt from the craft store and then I got this button from Hobby Lobby. So I'm pretty sure you can get both of these from Hobby Lobby it's a craft store <laughs> i know they also have buttons on amazon but that's besides the point so first i'm measuring the felt in the button you want to cut the felt a little bit more than the button so that way it covers your eye and your eyebrow i realized but i wanted the circle to i don't know i just cut it to my liking i just feel like i knew when it was the ancestors told me to stop cutting and i stopped cutting <laughs> But yeah, like I said, ignore my lace. I'm priming my face for the makeup side. And here I'm just doing the little Coraline eyebrow. I started with this brown eyebrow pencil. And I tried to curve it as best as I possibly could curve it. And make the arch of my eyebrow more curvy too. If that makes any kind of sense. Um, tried to make the points as pointy as possible as well. Really wanted that ex Oh my god, I can't speak. Really wanted that accentuated. Oh my god, <laughs> that accentuated eyebrow. So I realized it was not long enough. So I cleaned it up, and I went back in and I tried to make the little pointy part, the end part, <laughs> longer. And this is not the last of my eyebrows. I will be getting back to it later in the video. But I definitely did decide to clean them up a little bit. Um, at first, I wasn't going to. But I was like, nah. I gotta do that. Because eyebrows is looking crazy. Crazy. Mm, child. All right, after I cleaned it up, I didn't want to play with it anymore, so I just left it alone. Here's me filling the eyebrow. <laughs> but now I'm just going to prime my lid for the eyeshadow. Now, the eyeshadow that I saw in one of the looks was very warm, so I wanted to go with the warm. And I'm just setting my eye, getting ready for the eyeshadow. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette and I will try to insert on the screen what colors are which colors that I'm using on my eye. But I just went in with the little transition shade and then a little outer V shade. I really don't even take my word for this makeup terminology because I'm not a makeup artist. So yeah, but here I am cutting the crease because I did want to have it like a little soft glam, a warm soft glam if you please. <laughs> But I'm also not an expert at this, so like I said, do what's best for you when it comes to this eyeshadow part. Definitely wanted to go for a warmer look on this side because the other side is going to be more gory. Now here I'm just putting on my lashes. I wanted them to be a little light and fluffy and I guess a little childlike. I mean, no child wears lashes this crazy, but... Y'all know the vibes. Anyway, like I said, that wasn't the last of the eyebrows. So I went back in with a black to make my eyebrows darker because I really wanted them to be more cartoony. So went back in with some black liner. Now I'm just doing the foundation on my face. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I definitely put foundation on half of my lips because that's what I saw in the picture. I don't know if this was necessary, but put foundation on the other side of my lips so i'm just going in with my regular foundation routine i didn't um i didn't bronze because Coraline looks really like pale and 
ghastly, if that's a word. <laughs> she looks like a ghost, so... Or, well, she's very pale, so... She doesn't really have much dimension to her face, so I didn't want to do too much. So I just concealed, and I just did my foundation, and I extra baked so I can have that, you know, ghostly effect, I guess. If that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> And I'm also setting that other half of my face where I put the foundation on half of my lips. And you can see it better here, the little half and half thing that I did, <laughs> that I attempted to do. And I'm just going to set my entire face with my um, face foundation from MAC and wipe away all that baking. And also trying to set in all that foundation. Alright, so here comes the hard part. So... This is the lips or the fake mouth. This was the hardest part. So I just tried to create a triangle within my lips. I don't know. It was so hard. So you're probably going to have to watch for most of this part. Definitely all was freehand. Like I literally just looked at the picture and tried to mimic what the picture did. Um, One thing I did realize, I should have brought the bottom part of the mouth a little closer to my actual mouth. So that way it lined up with the button in the end. I don't know if you guys can tell, but hey, whatever. So my camera died and I filled in the little mouth shape that I created with black lipstick that I got from the Halloween store. And I'm just cleaning up the edges of the black line. And then here I'm just taking this white cream color and I'm using like a smudge brush and I'm outlining the edges of the black mouth. And in person, I could not see the white line, but in the video and in on the camera and what I'm watching right now, it's so white. Like, I promise you it was not showing up this pigmented in person. But just outlining it and being sure not to mix it with the black, just literally outlining the black. And at the bottom of the lip, you'll probably see later, but at the bottom of the, the mouth, you want to outline more white because you want to make it seem like it's pulling. You'll see later, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but here, I'm just doing this, I don't know, I'm following what the picture is. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think this is supposed to be like a, a stitch or maybe like, I don't know. I think I did it wrong, but whatever, moving on. So, and next we have the teeth. Now, this part I was the most scared about because I was wondering how I was going to get the white to show without mixing with the black. But honestly, you kind of do want it to mix with the black because you want the teeth to look, you don't want the teeth to look perfect, you want the teeth to look scary. So, mixing with the black definitely did help a little, but I still did want the white to show, obviously. So, the white cream makeup that I used was pretty pigmented, so I wasn't really... It showing up wasn't really an issue for me, so I think it was a win-win situation. <laughs> so I'm just doing the bottom, and I'm just doing the top teeth. I just went in like a rectangle, a rounded rectangle motion, um, and tried to match the teeth up with the same, you know, shape and level with the bottom teeth and the top teeth. Then I realized from the picture, she had only had three teeth, but I wanted to do four because... Like I said, I drew my mouth out a little bit further than what the picture did, and it wasn't looking even. So I added another set of teeth, and I think that this actually brought it all together because without it, I was looking a little jank. <laughs> Now I'm just going below the teeth and adding a little bit more black and above the teeth as well. Um, just to make more gums, I guess, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then I'm going back in with that white. And like I said, you do want the bottom part to be more white. And um, you want that white part to be dragged out a little bit lower at the bottom. So that way it has that pulling effect. So here's where the pulling effect comes in with this black shadow. So I took an angled eyeliner brush and I just followed the curves of the mouth not connecting the lines so just leaving a little bit of space between some of the white sections I don't know if that makes any sense but you can see here like I didn't connect all the black lines and I'm also adding some black around those stitchings that I did at the top hopefully like it looks like something because honestly I didn't know what I was doing and then just some final touch-ups all right 
So now moving on to this button eye. We are all done with that mouth. Tried to cover up my eyebrows. You already know, like, covering up the eyebrows has been a task for me. So, like I said, if you guys have any tips, let me know in the comments down below. So, I just applied some glue to the felt and also around my eye where the felt is going to stick. This, when I tell you my patience was wearing so thin... You can probably tell later in the video, like, I was getting so aggravated because it wasn't staying down. And I just couldn't bear to wait anymore because, <laughs> like, I'm already blind in one eye now. So I wanted it to go as fast as possible so I could just get the look done. And it was also late and I was irritated. Like, you can see here, I'm irritated. <laughs> so now it's glued down, thankfully. And I'm just going to darken the center of the felt with black eyeshadow. And then I went in with the black lipstick just so that the white doesn't show through the button. And now you can't really see with the lighting, but I just applied glue to the felt and also to the button so I can glue the button onto my eye. So the lash glue did not work. So I definitely use a nail glue, but highly, 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 highly highly recommend being careful like if you're gonna use nail glue like be very 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 careful but the nail glue definitely worked to help it stick i was still pretty aggravated with you know the whole getting to stick part anyway but whatever it stuck so we good it's up and it's stuck now i'm just gonna take some cotton rounds and rip them up personally i didn't enjoy this method i have created fake skin before um, and I like using tissue better, but for this video, I use cotton balls and I also use liquid latex. Please do not use liquid latex for this. Please, 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 please. The fumes or whatever is in the liquid latex made my eye water so, so bad. And you can probably see in the video, it made my eyes water so bad. You can definitely use just regular Elmer's glue and tissue, but or Elmer's glue and cotton balls but you can see here like I'm trying to blow my eye on the inside because it started watering so you're just going to take the glue and place it all around the felt and then start sticking the cotton rounds on and then after you stick the cotton rounds on all around you're just going to go back over it with the glue and stick it down and make sure you pull it out on the side so that way it flattens to your skin and then after that you want it to dry a little bit, and then I just started going in with my foundation, any foundation color. It doesn't really matter that it doesn't match your skin because you're going to be covering this with, like, eyeshadow to make it look bruised anyway. So that's why I never really am too pressed about this. And since I'm messy, I tried to... <laughs> I got makeup all over the button, and I tried literally everything to get the makeup off. I tried micellar water, everything. It didn't work, so... I eventually gave up and I went in with this black <laughs> liner just to get the black back into the button because it was looking crazy. And then I also blended it out with the Q-tip so that way it doesn't look too shiny and it blends into the button properly. Now here you see me going in with some, so I use red and a dark brown color to make the bruised effect um red and brown eyeshadow and I just mix the two I kind of use more red than brown um I usually enjoy using more red than brown but it's really like up to you and then here I'm just going in with the core line freckles at first I was going to use brown but I didn't have any liquid brown I only had liquid black so just went in with the freckles and like old school YouTube went in and then dabbed them I don't know freckles just really remind me of like that time when everybody was doing freckles for what reason who knows what anyway <laughs> now i'm going with the blood my favorite part to cover up you know the corners and just make it all gory and nasty and horror and halloweeny and ah, really really excited about the gory part of the video And here you will just see me getting ready to take some pictures with my sister and I'll insert some pictures after this clip and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I did that. But yeah. This is the final look. Her. Wow, I'm so, I was so scared. I did not think I was going to nail this, but I think I did a pretty good job. Like, I was really terrified. I'll see you guys in my next video. I have one more video in this Halloween series, and I think you guys are going to like it. 
I hope you guys do <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my socials as always <laughs> bye